Hello, everybody. I'm Timothy McGowan, and you're back for a new day of playing WoW. We got to level 19 last time, did a dungeon. I'm going to actually hurry up and queue us right now, just in case it takes a while. And send out maybe some more guild solicitations. Because I think... And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think that that it comes with some type of experience buff. Um, either way, let's start with this quest here. The party never ends. It's a collection quest. Oh, I had a nice long day today. Trying to keep myself motivated during the uh, whole COVID stuff has been a little... Uh, Keep that one. A little harder than I thought. You know, things come up and find yourself just wanting to sit on the couch and relax. But I've got writing to do. I've got all sorts of things. Oh, I'm supposed to be keeping these. Nah, whatever. I do need to figure out the enchanting stuff. Where is this telling me to go? Upstairs, probably. Um... Not that I need to figure out enchanting. It's what what is going on here? Bundle of fireworks. Uh, where does one find a bundle of fireworks? Glory to Lindor. Oh. Um. Shoot. What was I saying? I need to find out if there's catch-up mechanics, and then I can just worry about the. Uh, worry about the professions when I get a little further and I can just focus on leveling. Um, it's actually kind of late tonight. I wonder if I'm going to even get into a dungeon. Either way, we can just keep questing. It's all good. The audio issues I was having in the previous videos that you will have noticed if you watch them um, if you didn't, I tried to do a little more post-processing and get them to be fixed. But I don't think I accomplished it very well. See, the problem was I was recording all of the game sound and my mic on the same channel. Uh, so it created a difficulty when I was talking too low like this. And the music was going, bom, 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 bom. Well, not exactly like that, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Let's see. We've got these undead guys. Should I? I wonder if I should go into Ghost Lounge. I'm probably pretty close. I'm going to just finish this area up. Okay. What did I want to talk about today? I was thinking about... How cool would it be? Oh, I bought a uh, Powerball ticket. That was fun. You know, wish that you'll win something. Um, talk about with your wife how awesome it would be to... <laughs> like, oh, if we won all the money, what would we do? And I'm just sitting here like, oh, I would do what I'm doing right now because I was laid off, you know, writing and playing video games. <laughs> So not much would change for me, except that I'm, you know, my uh, computer would probably be a lot nicer and my writing would get more expensive editors. <laughs> uh, and I'd be able to do s marketing, you know, the black magic that gets people to pay attention to you. So what happened here? I'm trying to remember remember like I actually ever knew the lore. Um, I probably didn't. But uh, maybe I should pay attention to what is actually going on. I don't, what caused the Black Scar? Does it do with the Lich King or something? Maybe I should Google that. Just come into here not knowing anything. Let's see. Let's go turn this one in in Fairbury's village, and then we'll swing over to the Wayward Apprentice, and then over here. Go away, sir. 
Oh, he's immune. That makes sense. He's a specter of death. Man, it is hot where I live. I need to turn the AC up higher. But if I do turn it up, you guys will probably hear it in the background going... Rawr, 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 rawr. Not that that's much different than me talking. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Let's see. Talk about my book that I've been writing. I'm uh, working on a second book in a trilogy that I had planned out, and uh, I'm really excited about that. It's got some really cool stuff. Ding! We leveled up. I mean, it, I think it's cool stuff. Who knows if it actually is cool stuff, but it's going to involve kind of a... Uh, hey, I got the atonement ability. That's cool. Oh, excuse me. What is this? Ooh, PvP talents. Wartime mode. Let's see here. He places on a battalion, blah, 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 blah. Removes any loss of control effect. Well, I don't like using stuff, so let's find a passive. Duration of income and crown control reduced by 20 minutes. Stacked. And this one is remove any loss of control effects with a duration of five seconds or more. Eh, cool. And it's passive, so it can just take care of itself. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, I am working on the second book. First book was Reincarnation, Last Born of Kedarth. Uh, it's kind of a fantasy space alien type story where it starts off and then not, you know, not even a couple chapters in. There's a space invasion of the race of space aliens, which I thought was kind of funny. Hey, I got a dungeon. Um, and then the second one involves this uh, kind of tournament system thing that uh, I think will, will turn out to be pretty cool. There are three warriors in this group. I think we are good with melee attacks. Um, but yeah. It, uh, it should be good, I'm hoping. And I finally decided on, people always say when they're writing, and it's probably good to do it this way, but I do not do it that way that much. Um, and what I'm talking about is knowing your ending before you start. I had a vague idea what I thought um, the, the ending could be, but really I, a lot of the time when I start my stories, um, I'm going off of the idea of, some really cool premise and I'm like ooh this would be cool um, yeah and so I didn't quite know how I was gonna end it but just kind of through writing it I came up with a pretty satisfying ending for the book three and it leaves it open enough that if I need to I need to turn my back button key back on I like backpedaling and I'm not able to um, it leaves it open so that, you know, I can come back to it if I want to, or if it's popular enough to warrant, you know, spending more time on it. But at the same time, it's a really good conclusion to where having read that, you'll be like, Ooh, I feel like the story ended and it ended well. At least that's the expectation. So we'll see if that happens. This dungeon, I remember, I think, because I, well, I told you guys before, I, uh, my first max character was a Blood Elf Rogue, but I'm pretty sure back when I was in college and with my, my friends, um, playing on the Alliance side, I think this might have been the first real dungeon that I did, because obviously I wouldn't have access to Rage Fire Chasm on the Alliance side, because who's going to... And maybe it was done, but who's going to sneak into Ogremire to <laughs> do a tiny little dungeon? I know I wouldn't. Um, but yeah, no, I remember it being very interesting. Especially since I hadn't really done any dungeons before. 
I'm trying to remember. I mean, for me, even doing like little quest lines where there was a there was a tower and a wizard or something and some ogres, it all felt pretty epic. Um, before you even got into any instanced combat, so yeah, the good old times back when everything was new. And I'm chasing that feeling by going after something that is familiar. Is that ironic? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Hey, I wasn't touching that. Of course, they've changed this dungeon um, since then. They've changed so much. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, fellas, what are we doing? Okay. Here, I know how to do this. Unlock the monkey. 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 <laughs> Unlock the monkey. There we go. <laughs> My randomly walking around and unlocking while I should be healing reminds me of... Uh, why are you motivating me? Are you going to take over me? Um... I got two of my friends addicted to World of Warcraft back in 2000, it was during Cataclysm, whenever that was. Um, and one of them wanted to be the healer. He was a paladin, I think, and he had chosen, he had chosen, uh, uh, shoot, what is it called? Tailoring. He had chosen tailoring as his, his thing and enchanting. And he, like every other pool we would die like this guy's about to die because i'm not paying attention or trying to heal him um there we go uh every other pool somebody would die because he's back there and you just see it in the in the global chat or whatever um created a bolt of whatever created a bolt of whatever um like <laughs> it's just so funny oh man why is this guy getting hit? Yeah. Although, to his credit, um, later on, when he figured out how to actually play the game and not just, you know, craft things, which isn't to say that that's not a legitimate way to play the game. This game is so diverse that you could basically play it however you want. You don't have to kill things. I know, because I think he wants to just archaeology to get a character. Maybe not just to max. I don't know. He did some crazy stuff. He was a, he was a funny guy. But uh, what I was getting at is he, he ended up becoming a, a healer in the, some of the raids that we did. And he was way better than I was. So he, he eventually learned how to do it. Oh, which is good. Totally good. This dungeon's fun. I didn't actually do the research I said I was going to do and find out how long it's going to take to level. I know I have some characters that were fresh to the max level and I haven't played much more than that on them so I could go check. Um, but I'm tempted that if I, like, if I end up getting on a character because I have... I don't think they're max level because I only got one character to the new max, which was 120, I think. But I have a bunch of 110. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, he dinged. Um, I'm afraid that if I get on, I will want to start playing that. And then I would be... Yeah. Wouldn't really do doing my, my series that I'm committing to if I'm... Uh, oops. If I'm playing a character to 120, although, you know, if I keep this up, 
this guy should be at the proper level in no time. We are definitely on a different server, though, than all my main characters. So we won't be getting any benefits that way. But that's okay. Ooh. I think I'm going to let the tank die. Not on purpose, but because, yeah. I don't need him, not when I got you. Hmm. Does he still blow up if we stand next to him? Probably. Do I have to loot him? No? No, we're good. We don't have to do that. Hi. Shouldn't you be in bed? Okay, can you go lay down? Daddy will be there soon, okay? Love you. Oh, that was my daughter. It is past her bedtime. My kids are pretty young, so... They go to bed pretty early. <sighs> what? Whew, by all the yawning I'm doing, I think I'm supposed to be in bed too. Maybe this will be a shorter one. I'll just knock out this dungeon and... I don't know. I wanted to get to level 25. I can do it, right? I'll make it. Level 25? No problem. No problem whatsoever. Although, it probably won't be very entertaining if I am a sleepy zombie as opposed to my overly energetic self telling random stories of nothing and nowhere. Right. Hmm. Thank you all for being nice, even though I am slow. No problem, Bob. I don't think his name is Bob, but I enjoy using generic names. Uh, he's going to die. The character name... <laughs> I always think character names are funny, right? Especially in fantasy, which is what I write. Um, and I, you know, splash with a little bit of uh, sci-fi and whatnot. But you always get names like... <laughs> Elantra... God, blah, 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 blah. I can't even, I can't even pretend to know. Because most of the ones I do know about are not uh, that bad. But, you know, there's a tendency to do... Uh, there's a tendency to do exotic, elven, Tolkien-esque style names, which end up being names that you can't pronounce, and then people are like, oh my gosh, why you do this? <laughs> um, but I don't do that. I think it's funny to try to find those common names that will, that will be, uh, it will be interesting. For instance, oh, excuse me. For instance, my main character in my first novel that I self published, his name was Phil. But uh, it is a portal fantasy, so I mean, it makes sense. You know, the guy's name is Philip, and he goes by Phil. He just happens to have landed himself in, you know, an adult. Narnia style thing. Uh, why do I got a skull over my head? Go away. Target acquired. Yeah, and then I have. Whew, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I have another character from my second book. Who is na Well, okay, I have a no novella and then another book. I'm talking about the book, not the novella. But, uh... Well, that's cool. His name was... Nico. Um, which is a name of a cat? I mean, it's not just a name of a cat, but... 
it was the name of a cat for someone I knew. Um, and I stole that. And the character actually starts out as a cat, so that kind of that kind of makes sense too. Or does it? Uh-oh. Look at these guys. So do you guys play any other MMOs? Do you guys watch any other MMOs? Are there any other MMOs still out? I remember... Uh, I think I played Rift before. I don't remember how good or bad it was or wasn't. Um... What's that one from Amazon New World that's coming out or was supposed to be coming out this year until the entire nation started catching diseases? And when I say nation, I'm speaking of... I guess I should be speaking of the world because it's not just a nation that has this issue. Although there is a certain nation that is dealing with this issue and not getting much better at it because we are awesome. Yes. Ouch. Yeah. That's okay. I'm just being bitter because I lost my job. But this is cool, though. I got an opportunity to do some stuff that I like to do. Like, I've always wanted to do a little, not really streaming, but, you know, streaming-esque stuff. Um... Although I did try streaming, and I probably still will a couple days a week. So, I should probably put that in the comments below. Which I will. So, I will put a link to my Twitch channel in the comments below. And you can check me out on the two or three days I think I've told my zero followers that I would be doing. <laughs> oh, shoot. Things about to get ugly. Or not. Okay. I thought that was... I thought those bubbles increased the damage they took, but it didn't look like they were taking any damage. Oh, damage dealt is increased by 25. So they were inside of it, so the NPCs were probably getting that buff as well. It did not feel like they were. However... Am I about to get blown off? Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Bye, fella. I don't have the zippy ability yet. Whatever that's called. Like the reverse Death Knight grip. Yeah. New World. That seems cool. Slightly racist, but cool. Is it racist? Or is there another word for turning the <laughs> invaders of America into... Yeah. Oh, shoot. How did that happen? You guys see that? His health jumped from, like, nothing to... Or to full to almost nothing. Ouch. Yeah, New World. Regardless of what it's seen as, I will definitely give it a try. It's much different than WoW. Uh, it's more of an action MMORG... Is that, what, is that what it called? What's it called when you have to actually move yourself around and do stuff and it's not an auto attack system? Without a... I mean, it still has abilities that get triggered, but I don't think you can just go up and right-click somebody. But it works for WoW, obviously. I mean, look at us. We've got uh, how many bajillions of players? Hello. I'm going to check my log and see what just did that to me. Uh, sea swell. Oh, it's probably something we're supposed to get out of the way of. And I stood there just talking and not even paying attention. Oh, he's going to die. Hey, he didn't die. 
How bad that would, would that be? This is like the easiest, one of the easiest dungeons. I can't keep them alive. Excuse me, drinking water. Oh, shoot. Ouch. Ha! Ah. It's gonna happen. I can feel it. Oh. Why is everybody leveling up? Why am I not leveling up? Did I level up already? I don't know. Did I? Could have. Oh, shoot. Okay. How many levels do you guys think I'm going to jump after this dungeon? Because I think it gives you a pretty big chunk at the end of the dungeons. Don't I have a buff I can give them? Oh, it's level 22. Oh, that was on the PTR. Public test realm. You get it at like level 8 now. I don't have a target. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I'm almost leveled already. I think I will get to 22. Yeah. Yeah. 22. I can smell. I can smell your fear. That's not fear you're smelling. <laughs> That's our tank. <laughs> he shot himself. Ouch. Should I heal him? Never with her. Guild Wars 2. Excuse me. Guild Wars 2. Is that still a thing? I don't know. Can't remember. I played that when it came out, though. I was so excited. I was uh, a huge Guild Wars 1 nerd. Something about those little... Uh, three-on-three -three type maps. Actually reminds me of a story. Not so much a story, but a, uh, yeah. There was, uh, what do they call it? It was like the uh, assassin uh, monk thing. I don't know. It was cool, though. Yeah, I hear fool. I need the haste. I can heal you guys. Stole it again. Get out of here, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, why is nobody healing us? Because we don't need to. Hey, yo. There we go. Why can't I grab that? That's weird. Okay. What do we get here? Got a wand. We don't need that. Yes, it was. Pleasure, pleasure. Ooh, almost 23. Oh, I got another one. Let's turn this in. It looks like I'll get 23. That's uh, four levels. Right? Because, yeah, we started off at level 19. That's four levels for one dungeon. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And I think we'll go ahead and just stop there. Um... That'll be about 30 minutes because that one was a bit longer. And I'm kind of tired. Uh, and I, I want to be able to be energetic for you guys. And, and maybe entertaining, maybe not. I don't know. But I don't think that I will be that entertaining if I'm getting all yawny and tired. Although I do want to keep leveling. Uh, two more levels? No. No, we can, we can come back. Okay. Well, this is... 
Zool. Zool says goodbye. <laughs> uh, I'm signing off. Uh, thanks, guys. This is Timothy McGowan. It's Gaming Channel. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you're into that kind of thing. If not, don't do it. That's fine. Just keep watching, though. <laughs> Catch you guys tomorrow with more videos.